The festival of the dead is hard. Japan has a rich culture, and today we're exploring its famous Obon Matsuri, also known as the Festival of the Dead, and why it's such a harsh festival to visit and experience. First spot, cemetery. For some reason, Kyoto is so dark. I had to take off my lenses. It's not even sunglasses, just lenses. That's crazy. In this first spot, we are at the cemetery, which is where people bring items, they bring fortunes, they bring food and prayers to give respects to the, to the loved ones and their families that have passed. Also to teach them the way to come back to the land of the living. If you plan on visiting, make sure you're ready to climb a lot of stairs and crowds. There's like a little tree here. I think it's the most beautiful place for a tree. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at the view, look at the light. Everything here is perfect, guys. Oh my gosh, I am literally in heaven and you would be too if you were here if i ever die i think i'm pretty sure i wished i died on this cemetery because the amount of people that come here the beauty aesthetics of this place are just heavenly really uh, you can feel the humanity the life that it's just like every ending, it starts, life starts, life ends, and it's the cycle. And in this cemetery, you can really feel how that really comes to life and that expression of life and death exists. And it's just amazing. I'm really happy I brought a water bottle because guys, honestly, if I did not have a water bottle, I would freaking die on the cemetery which wouldn't really be a bad thing honestly because i mean look at the views i mean you die with a good view you know okay that was i don't know if that was good or bad to say humanity is amazing it's incredible this is beyond humanity this is like collective consciousness level like this is like just wow just breathtaking I am going as tall as I can, guys, because I want to see how far you can go. And like the taller you climb up, the darker it gets because you get closer to the forest. If you plan on coming, be ready because this is a maze. You have to find your own way. And if you, if you get lost, it's your problem. I'm currently by myself. Pedro and Liza left. Liza had a job interview and Pedro didn't want to stay because I honestly think he's scared because, you know, technically the dead people, they come back to the living, to the land of the living. And I think that he was probably scared of that. And that's why he left. But I don't think it's something to be scared of. It's beautiful. It's like the death, the life. The in between. And then there's like a little refresher here. It's like water sprinkling out of those tubes. Cause like it's really humid, it's really hot, and people want to just like refresh themselves. 
so they just like put themselves under that thing this is very common here in japan you will see that in the airport you'll see that in like big malls you'll see that in like entrances of like garages and stuff like that stop but don't get too close yeah people here come every year to celebrate the loss of their loved ones and they come here to celebrate their lives and they light up lanterns to guide them back to the afterlife and that's why we see a lot of lanterns like this light up it's really just a beautiful sign of humanity guiding them back and forth into the realm of the dead It smells so good, guys. It smells really good. It's really peaceful. I don't think you can go this way. I want to go this way. There's a thunderstorm happening. The aesthetics of this place are just immaculate. We are currently going to the second spot, which is the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest River. We are going to see them lighting up some lanterns, putting them on the river and sending them back, which represents the uh, teaching to the spirits of the way back home to the land of the dead. And in the meanwhile, until we get there, we're gonna be exploring a little bit as usual. And they have this little souvenir ingredients shop over here. They serve like cold drinks because like we're really up high right now on like a hill with like lots of traditional buildings. So I think this is like a really good marketing strategy for them to like sell stuff because it's like people are thirsty, you know, like after climbing all of this. And I'm gonna go meet Pedro and Liza back again now. We're gonna go to Arasyama, the bamboo area, the beautiful area. <laughs> Look at how crowded this place is. My people, this is Arasyama on Obon era so if you're planning on visiting on getting a good experience out of japan you do not come in the obon season because this this is not even as many people as you're gonna see um this this is just a few people compared to what's coming and now we're gonna meet up with my friends and we're gonna go back to exploring show us your outfit okay what do you got what do you got well, I got this top, and then and that's the skirt. That's the skirt, and okay. The belt. And the belt slay. And the belts. <laughs> I hope they have a student so. Oh, well, I'm made from Thailand. Oh, crap. Yeah. Nice <laughs> <laughs> So right now is the final event where we are gonna light up lanterns by the river and those lanterns are gonna teach the spirits how to get back to the heavens and that's why we light a lot of lanterns to represent each spirit that is still being remembered and now ladies and gentlemen i believe that you already understand why I chose the title I did. You guys cannot see, this is way too many people. I have not seen this many people since freaking coronavirus um, testing sessions. But it is really cool that there is this many people. It's, it's a good thing. 
Well. And this, dear weirdos, is the harsh reality of the Obon Mat City. Guys, I'm gonna take you with me with my little um, adventure trying to see anything because I cannot see a damn thing. Um, Hello. Hey, what? Here, Arashiyama is a river, as you can tell. It is also very popular with people to have fancy dinners on the river, on boats. And if you stay tuned, you're gonna see cozy boats. We're going through the mist. All right, let's go get the mist. Jesus Christ. That is quite refreshing, honestly, but now I don't think my glasses think the same thing about the mist. <laughs> I really like this vibe. Imagine you're a kid and it's summer holidays and you're coming here with your family and your cousins and you're getting these snacks and it's hot outside and you get a little ice cream. Whoa, first sighting of a cozy boat. Check one. going to do a little bit of exploring because you know it's not Ryoko it's not my channel if we're not going somewhere creepy and dark and where there's nobody I swear to god there's nothing better than ambient lighting just guys look at this there's nothing better than ambient lights. Like if there's like darkness and then there's like a, a like colored light, like a warm colored light. It's just like, there's nothing to compare to that because it's just like, it makes you feel so cozy. Cause it's like the unknown is like the darkness. And then there's like a little bit of light. And it's just like, to me, that's just like. Guys, look at the view from up here. It's so quiet in here. Nobody. <gasps> A spider, that's a big, massive spider. Jesus Christ. Do you guys see that? That is the biggest spider I've ever seen. Okay, that is a lie. <laughs> that is a big lie. <gasps> Jesus Christ, okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, the spider just threw a web at me. I'm just gonna go. I'm done with this freaking insect all over the place. And I think one of the coziest sceneries besides all of the beautiful nature and all of that is just like seeing the traditional buildings and like all the lanterns, just seeing like life, you know, like after like all of these years, people are still using these houses. You see this, this stuff by the river. These are like, like people live here and these are like really old buildings. Of course, some of them have been renovated and stuff, but it's like... You can still, like, people still, like, they sleep there, they eat there, they, like, exist there. Okay, some of them are actually hotels, but that's besides the point. Guys, once again, 
<laughs> once again i'm going into the darkness into the unknown i somehow always end up oh my god i jesus christ i just got scared with like a cameraman was like crouched god, this is beautiful you guys okay the lights are a little bit strong but you can see people in boats with their friends and with family celebrating the last day of the spiritual event and it's beautiful You guys cannot see anything but right now the mountains are like being lit with five symbols and it takes 30 minutes and then it's over the festival can you guys see that is that a ufo because that looks like a shadow and the way it's blinking it has like shapes like it's like an ellipse it's got wow that is weird that is weird. Oh my gosh. UFO caught on camera. <laughs> As always, I follow the direction people were not following. There's like tiny fishes in this thing. Oh my god, they're like really audio sensitive somehow. They were like over there before I made a lot of noise. Before I made a lot of noise, those fishes were like clustered at the light. And then as soon as I spoke, she they were like, hell no, I'm not gonna do any of this. I didn't sign up for any of this before I became a little egg, a, a fish egg. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's the situation. As curious as I am, I am going to go into this place. I don't think I am allowed here, but you know, I'm a foreigner, so maybe, you know, like maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I can go in here, you know, but you know, you have to like be adventurous and be like, okay, let's go. Like there's nothing saying that I can't go. Exactly, there's nothing saying that I can't go. So might as well just go. Oh my God, guys, look at that. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, I feel like that is kind of private. Suran reception, dining, banquet. Oh, guys, oh my God, wow. Okay, this is like a fancy diner. Cause I can see, I can see like, I can hear like traditional Japanese instruments and music. So, you <laughs> know, you guys. Are with me together. Mm, nice place. Oh, imagine coming here during the okay, this is closed. But imagine coming here during the day. You know, imagine coming here during the day. How beautiful must this be? No, at night this is peak. Peak is night. <laughs> God, I cannot wait to have money. Guys, like imagine having money and going there. Doesn't seem that much expensive. Of course, it's expensive, but like, what's a one time expensive dinner? Like, how much is expensive for like a one time dinner? You know, like, you want to treat yourself, you want to go to like a nice place. So, why don't you just go? Oh, just sometimes it's okay to spend a little bit more. You have to respect that. You cannot be saving your entire life to live because then life is over and you didn't spend on your life because it never happened. So, Sometimes it's okay, just spin. This video is officially over. Ah, just kidding. If you're watching this for, I really have to thank you. Um, now you're watching extras.
In the current footage, we're going to the cemetery. Just for context, you know? People all over the world have never seen. We are currently going to the first event that's going to happen on the cemetery. They're going to light up some lanterns. We're all here to see all of that. Slow loser. <laughs> It's really cold. It's really cold out here. No, it's like really warm. If you guys understood how hot it is, and it is humid. And now we're going to the second spot, which is the Arashiyama Bamboo River. We're out here chilling by the river. The views are nice. The people are better. Hey. <laughs> we're chilling. So local. So local. We're like from we're, we're, here. We've been here. <laughs> We've been here <laughs> for like a year. <laughs> well, I've heard doing that exact same sentence. <laughs> Oh, 